mention the justice system especially under you you managed to have the judiciary working towards that agenda the sri lankan oriented agenda what's the role of the lawyers there no there we put the national interest yeah. in the forefront yeah uh, that that was necessary uh, that was essential uh, we put the national interest uh, in the forefront and the lawyers at that time cooperated to a very great extent uh they co- cooperate to very because we want to expeditiously dispose of cases uh, we had uh, b- b- we had uh, b- really three pillars on which we worked we improved infrastructure those days when i took over no court had a toilet <laughs> it has it has dilapidated dilapidated broken down we we so improved infrastructure then we improved our systems we introduced computers very soon and finally most important thing we educated our judges we had a judges training institute and lawyers also came along with this so that, that, so these three things uh, really coincided uh, so now what we have to do is we have to follow up on this judges training is going on still i'm very happy to say that it is going on still we built the judges training institute till then it was the chief justice's bungalow that was used as a judges training institute Right. Now I can I to see president saying uh, my house is smaller than that house. I 41 years I had never lived in a official bungalow. <laughs> And these people talk about the houses in retirement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> never ever lived in any official bungalow. Right. Chief justice as president was used as a judge training institute. So it is continuing. Right. We built a new training institute every week there are programs. Yeah. Now lawyers also must do this. now in in the in the other in other parts of the advanced world it is a continuous legal education system right now that is where i think the bar association has failed right. continuous legal education system not everyone who wears a black coat who has been enrolled by the supreme court should be able to get up and at this court you see there there has to be a, a practitioners certificate right now this is where we fail okay. so that there will be you first apprentice under someone then you sit for some continuing legal education program examinations yeah. and then you qualify yourself to stand up in court and say i represent x y or z so then of course there is quality a uh, lot of senior lawyers those this wanted me to introduce this but uh, i didn't want to venture into the legal profession <laughs> i had ina- enough enemies outside <laughs> but that is what is necessary and now you are you are from an outsider's perspective to say basically that you are not satisfied with the performance of all lawyers yeah and yeah. i i read your pulse <laughs> yeah. uh, you represent the vast majority of people in this country probably 100% <laughs> uh, that is because uh, the, that is because this anybody who takes uh, oaths now can get up, get up on the very next day and represent the person there as representing the interests of a litigant in a adversarial system yeah. now in the inquisitorial system in europe of course the, the law i hardly gets the opportunity to get up Yeah. Uh, because the judge just does, does the yeah. that yeah, you are quite right yeah. the judge does the thing uh, yeah. and uh, then they turn him say in the law now i i have these these things against you tell me what have you got to say about it <laughs> so the the picture is cut and dry for the lawyer yeah. uh, and he also can follow the judge and, but they are also they have uh, there are so many practitioners certificates that are necessary right. there are so many practitioners certificate. so practitioners certificate is necessary not everybody who takes oaths can get up on the very next day in court and appear for a client